When you're solving a Rubik's Cube, usually white is opposite yellow, green is opposite blue, red is opposite orange, and the colours go something like white, blue, red clockwise. With just that information alone, you can work out the entire colour scheme of a Rubik's Cube. But what if that colour scheme was different? In today's video, I'm going to be solving on a bunch of different colour schemes. Now, unfortunately, I can't use this cube. This is the X-Man Tornado V2, and I don't know, maybe there is a way, but actually I probably can take this off, but I'm not going to right now, because if I use this cube, it's just not going to work. Now, I could use something like the Maylong M, and what it actually allows you to do is you can actually take these pieces apart, and you can like take all the edges apart and like put them together in a way so that you get a different color scheme. And while this cube still turns well, I feel like it'll just take too long as well. So that led me to my only other option. This is the Shengxia Gem 3x3, and its performance is nowhere near as good as the Melong, but I mean, it turns decently. And the great thing about this cube is you can actually pop off the tiles just like this. So switching colors is going to be a lot more easier. As a control, I'm just going to do a regular average of five on this cube. Now, the one thing about this cube is if you turn too fast, tiles are going to pop off literally everywhere. So I'll just try to relax my turning a little bit. All right, let's just get started with the average of five. Oh, come on. I... Oh, I don't know if this one. That was bad. Oh my god, I didn't even try to do that. Alright, 15.976. That is a 15.85 average. Not, not the greatest, but it's alright considering it's on this cube. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch white and yellow. Now, I don't think this should make much of a difference, but if it does, we're about to find out. So as you can see, I've swapped white and yellow. And if I just compare this to a regular cube, as you can see on the regular cube, we have white, red, blue. Here we have yellow, red, blue. I don't think this should make much of a difference because it's only opposite colors being swapped, but... I don't know. Let's just see if it does, because I could be wrong. I'm trying to use fancy algorithms. Of course, a piece popped out. I know a corner twist. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. A few moments later. Oh, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? 15,997. Yeah, I'm good. 17. Oh my god. Two pieces popped out. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, that, was, that wasn't the grace average, but, um,. I mean, 17.39, it's not the worst thing in the world. All right, here's where the real fun starts. So I've restored it back to the original color scheme. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap two colors. I'm going to swap blue and red for this one. So from this angle and from this angle and from this angle and from this angle, it looks all right. But like when you look at, say, this angle, it just looks completely cursed. So this might have an effect on me while solving F12 pairs because you never see a red-orange edge, but that might completely throw me off. So this is where it will start getting interesting. Oh no. Uh, green, blue, what the hell? Okay, red, blue, and then red, orange. Okay, that was lucky. And, oh, you kidding me? That's it. Okay, that was quite all right. That was quite easy. What I really have to remember is that blue is opposite 
orange, red, subs, and green. Dude, you're kidding. You're kidding! Oh. Oh, wait, that's orange. Oh, that's H-Bone, what the hell? Wait, is that- yeah. God, that completely threw me off. You see this, and you think it's a Z-Perm. Or you see this, and you might think it's a Z-Perm. But no, this is actually a H-Perm. Green, orange, okay, that's that one. Orange, red, what? What? I knew this would throw me off. But this would throw me off. And what appeal is this? This GB pack. Yeah, I think recognizing uh, with blocks will make this a lot easier. And let's just do F2 join F prime. Oh, almost sub 10. Almost got sub 10 after a while. That would be nice. Uh, that's a clockwise U turn. Oh god, I actually have to recognize. What the heck is, is this E pump? Hang on. Yeah, this is an E pump, so it's this way. Jeez, that took me forever to recognize. That was a whoa, that's a cool average. Show you that. How much did you do that? That's 17.777. This time instead of swapping red and blue, I've swapped red and green. So this can be a little bit different because if you remember last time, red was opposite green, but this time red is opposite blue, orange is opposite green. I don't think this should have a massive effect compared to the last one, but you never know. Uh, that's how I did that. Blue, green, that's gonna... What the hell? I just got an Olaf's <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? Blue orange, okay. No, it's this way. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I got an Olo skip the last of now I've skipped a PLO. I don't think that's ever happened to me. E ever. Like even solving normally, let, let alone solving on this ridiculous color scheme. That's a 13.31. Wait, the blue's up to red. Okay, this one's gonna be bad. Wait, okay. Uh, hesitated. Wait, what? No, hang on. And of course it's back there. What next? Another PL will skip? Okay. Another top of that. Before then, I could see headlights in the block, and as you can see, this is pretty obviously a GA pen. Oh, that's... Oh. What a... Oh my god. Okay, 19.32. I know if, like, two centers pop off, then it's a DNF, but... What about two tiles? I guess they just assume that no one uses tiled cubes. Seventeen six nine. So that was a little better at sixteen point two three. But I think I've just gotten used to this, so I think that's why. All right, that actually took quite a bit of time. So as you can see, these two sides are correct. But I've actually swapped white and green. Now the thing about this is that I actually I'm not color neutral. Oh, well I'm dual color neutral. I saw them white and yellow. And the fact that they're right next to each other just is probably going to make my brain melt. Actually, I was considering switching white and blue, but if you do it that way, then white and green won't be next to each other, so it's going to be really weird to scramble. I guess we might have to do white top blue front, but I just did this because it made more sense. The orange red edge is still here, so... Oh my god, I'm doing a nose itch. It was about to- Oh my god, I just inserted that in the wrong slot. I've inserted that into the wrong slot as well. Oh my goodness. This really is messing with me. Uh, it shouldn't be too high. What's that? Y fan? Oh god, 21. What? 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 
that took me like okay blue no orangey no orange oh my god i gotta filter out blue okay i think that might be useful going to the next solve i failed to get sub 20 again i was able to plan that okay filter out blue so it's yellow white red wait oh there it is it was literally right there okay orange okay that's orange orange no yellow no wait no that's oh my god oh. wait no the green's the top oh my god green's the top color not oh my god i got oh god that was that was embarrassing 31 seconds i think oh, I got that and then red yellow where's that there okay i got same all again and gc perm there you go, sub 20, that's nice. 17. We're not getting a sub 10. Uh sub 20 here. As long as I don't mess up. There you go. Another sub 20 just to finish it off. Definitely not a sub 20 average. It's a 20.80. So as you can see, this looks normal. This time I've swapped white and red. Will it make a difference? Possibly, because now I'm telling my brain to filter out orange or red instead god this is so confusing host oh, white yellow okay blue red that's good uh, what the... oh oh wow and J of course uh, let's do all CP because why not? Wait, oh what? That, that wasn't even. I wanted to do. It looked like an old CP algorithm, but it, it wasn't. Oh, it's a... 16. So why am I filtering out red? Okay. Let's... Okay, I'm trying to. Oh, this is NB. I thought, sorry, NA. I thought this was, I thought it was a J perm, but it's not. Um, yellow, blue. Um, white, blue. Orange, blue. blue. What? Oh, uh, you know what? Let's. Why not? Yes, let's go. Yes, let's go. Sub 20. And Ola CP helped me. Go watch that tutorial to find the Ola CP algorithm that I used. Oh, actually, a sub 20 average. Which, honestly, I was not expecting. Alright, now we're going into chaos round. This is where pretty much everything is just messed up. White is next to yellow, red is next to orange, green's next to blue, and all the opposite colors are just ridiculous. Where the- where- okay, that edge is solved. Did you- oh my god. Where do- where do I even start? Green, orange, okay. Red. Green, white. Oh, um, what? Oh, 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 I got all so confused. Oh, I could I could have gone such a bad time, but okay. um, what what the hell is that? Um, how would I like that? I guess. Wait, no, that's, that's the wrong way. What the hell is this? Okay. That... What is this? Another E pan? You gotta be kidding me. Tiles are going everywhere. I'm just gonna go fastest run. Uh, oh, what? No. Um, uh, that's this. Green, blue. Green, uh. This is a uh, What the? What's this? 
Oh my god, I swear, I think, I think I'm probably gonna do this again, except film earlier in the day, so I might actually do, like, melon pieces, that might be a little better. Like, even though, like, maybe, like, even if it takes more time, I think it shouldn't be too bad, because I think I'm more, I think, I think, I think I, I think I've broken the cube, <laughs> seriously. Max, you're gonna get sub 20 solve. Let's go. 1962. No, sorry, 1926. Uh, I've lost. I'm literally playing hot potato. Challenge. Try and solve the cube with. Oh. So, did you see how loosely I turned it? And it still came off. I think that's an indication that I've broken the cube. Oh, let's just get this over with. Done. Bad. All right, so I finished the solves and I've created a few graphs. Yes, I've gone full TNL mode. And just a disclaimer, I only did five solves for each color scheme, so basically nothing's gonna be accurate. But I don't know, it's kind of fun to look at. I actually rambled for about five minutes about these graphs, but I feel like this video is getting way too long now, so just check the pinned comment for information about these. I will probably do this again someday, except I might use this Melong M because its tiles don't pop out. And also I'll definitely do more solves, maybe 12, 20, 25, for a more accurate view on the data. But anyway, this was a really fun video to film, and if you guys have tried this challenge yourself, and it doesn't have to be on the Shang Chao Gem, tell me your results in the comments below. Can you beat me? Probably can if you've got at least a better cube. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn, turn on the bell and all that. And I'll see you next time.